Hola muchachos, ¿qué tal? Buenos días. Hoy es jueves, el 10 de septiembre, y aquí tienen ustedes el horario para hoy. After logging in and making sure that everybody is present, we're going to quickly review the numbers uh, 0 through 100, especially for those of you that maybe weren't able to make Tuesday's class or even last Thursday's class. So really briefly want to mention to you or, or show you where you can find Uh, some really helpful review resources for the numbers 0 through 100. And then we're going to practice today, guys, playing games today. If you click on, well, first and foremost, here you have review. I'll go ahead and click on that first. We talked about the trend that you could take note of if you look at the ones place, numbers 1 through 10. And you compare it, especially to the prefix, to the stem uh, of the numbers in the tens place and even beyond in the hundreds place, uh, you'll see that there's a pattern there, a similarity. Hopefully that can help you remember the numbers 0 through 100 well. Uh, some videos here that I curated for you that you can make reference to. Uh, but again, we've already covered this both last week and earlier this week, so you can hit next. Uh, this is bingo. Bingo, we're going to play today uh, four games. I don't know if we're going to be able to get to all four games or not, uh, but you should have already submitted your bingo card in Canvas uh, right here as an assignment. And what you should have done is you could have downloaded and printed out these bingo cards. Matter of fact, I'm going to, no, I won't print it out right now, but, um, or you could have drawn those cards. And what you needed to do was complete four games total, four games in big O. For two of them, you're going to just write the number in numerical form, right? Just like how it shows here, digit format. And the middle space, of course, is free. So two games will look just like that, like a traditional bingo uh, where you're writing in the numbers. But for the other two games, you're going to write out the number in Spanish, alphabetical form, letter by letter, as you can see here. Um, so this one's going to be a little bit more time consuming. The resource that I just showed you previously, you can go back to. Uh, and that has those have all the numbers. Textbook page 7 has all the numbers as well. So please do make use of these resources to aid you in completing bingo, guys. And it's a 100-point assignment. Um, pretty intuitive, but you want to make sure that you do it correct. Two games numerical, two games alphabetical. And then you upload as a Word document, a Google Doc, or most of you are probably just going to take a picture of all four game cards and then upload those into Canvas. And you have the tutorial for how to do that right there. Okay, that is technically due by the end of today. That was your homework for today. So if you didn't get it done to start class, then you need to get it done and turn it in by the end of today. 11.59. All right, click next. You have the other practice activity we're going to do, uh, which, which is pretty cool. Only goes over the numbers 1 through 50, but you're going to play each of these three games, drag and match, concept, race, and memory game. I'll let you choose the level of difficulty. I think you'll find that easy is quite easy. I would challenge you, encourage you to push yourself and see if you can do the more intermediate or difficult levels. Um, and what you're going to do is you're going to play each of those three games. And then once you've completed each game successfully with 100% score, all of them correct, you're going to, that screen that shows that you've completed everything successfully, you're going to enable your camera, or you can take even a screenshot if you want to of your computer. A selfie will do just fine though of you and your computer screen. You're going to take three selfies, right? One for each of the three games that you've successfully completed. And then you're going to upload those uh, as an assignment here in Canvas. Again, instructions for you are right there. And more detailed instructions for how to go about this activity can be found here. All right, guys. So a fun Thursday. Nothing but games, really. We're going to play with the numbers. And I look forward to seeing you in our virtual classroom. Adios.